dear community of grief practitioners. Uh, this is the second video that I will be sending out together with another first video. Please watch the first video first as it sends out some really important information that will be distinct from this more regular video update. All right, um, so good summer's day. Um, our grief graduate monthly group meets next Thursday, July, what is that? Um, the seventh, um, I think. And um, okay, so I wanna share with you uh, a quote that somebody sent in an email, one of our um, grief practitioners. I'll keep it anonymous, but I really appreciated the quote, so I wanted to share it with you. And this person says, um, I wish I had a group like this in real life. I wish I had a group like this in real life. So of course, part of me um, being the, the uh, what, the one who called these groups in wants to protest, but this is real life. And at the same time, I totally get this. Uh, we meet on Zoom. Most of us have never met each other. Uh, we spend what, uh, like uh, one third of 1% of our time with each other. So in many ways, uh, these groups that we do, especially after the weekly eight group uh, initial commitment is done, is not real life. At the same time, uh, let's look at what's been happening in the United States. Uh, the Supreme Court, right? One thing after another after another. I don't know if many of you know this today, um, but Biden reinstated uh, limits on power plants, you know, the places that generate the power that we use in this country. Uh, he had set limits on how much of their power they could get uh, from fossil fuels, and the Supreme Court today overturned it, yes, six to three, as all these decisions are coming down now, saying uh, the government can't set any limits on how many fossil fuels are used in our power plants. So anyway, we just happen to have been born into times that are hard and unless things go in a way that I can't foresee, are just going to be getting harder in so many ways, many ways that we have discussed. And yeah, um, this group is not real life for many of us in many ways, but at the same time, this work we're doing together um, this grief practice, the grief expression, and, and slowly beginning to form at least some sense of nascent community, I haven't figured out any other way to begin in the incredibly ramshackle way in which we're beginning um, to, I don't know, build little outposts of both um, of grief practitioners and I suppose in the longer run, um, the possibility is that those who come together in, in, in our group and also hopefully other groups, there are other people doing grief work, um, will at some point develop enough practice and enough confidence to go out into their real lives, into their home communities, and begin to invite others into consistent grief practice. That's the idea. That's the vision. Even if, even if all hell begins to or continues to kind of come down upon um, this planet um, due to confused human beings, um, that, that, that if our species and, and hopefully uh, some of the other species should carry through, that there will be people who have developed the capacity and the willingness to hold life animating practices of which grief practice is certainly one and I'm not sure there's a much more relevant practice for these times and times to come. I know you all know all that but um, this quote just got me in the heart and, and mostly in a, you know, in a good way. It's a, it's a really honest quote and it speaks to where we are. So next Thursday at 
we do 4.30 to 6.30 Pacific time, 7.30 to 9.30 Eastern time is our monthly group. Um, we plan to hold some space for Sarah Moore, um, and please listen to that first video first. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. And I know it's summertime, and I know some of you won't be able to make it. I was even thinking of not having the groups in July and August, but I will be having them. I, we will be having them. I will be offering them. And if you can't come, uh, of course, that's understandable. Um, but especially in the summer, which is a between time in so many ways for our reg real, regular activities, I wanted to put forth this um, what, this little pep talk um, for our groups. And um, we'll be starting new eight-week groups in September. Um, so please think of anybody in your life um, who might benefit. And I want to brainstorm with whoever wants to brainstorm about other forums we can create, um, maybe weekend rituals or longer uh, gatherings. I'm not sure. Um, which, I w if we do something like that, I would love some of you to join me as, as space holders for that. Okay, that's it for now. Um, you know, this is a pretty impossible venture, um, but I don't know if there are many other ventures. Um, I, no, I don't mean that there are not many other ventures, but this sort of venture, I'm not sure... Um, it, the medicine that it might offer can be replaced by um, many of the other things that our society and culture has to offer. Okay, enough. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful and griefful, where appropriate, summer, that your loved ones are well, that you are well, and I'll see some of you next week. Oh, please um, send a little email if you'll be coming. All right, that's it for now. Bye.